All right, here with Dr. Pomerantz of MRI Online discussing J.J. Watt's most recent injury. It's a torn pec. And Dr. Pomerantz, just how significant is this injury beyond J.J. Watt missing the rest of the season? How does this affect him going forward for the rest of his career? You know, pectoralis is a three-headed monster. There are, there are three parts to it. One that comes off the clavicle, one that comes off the sternum, and one that comes off the intercostal structures, namely the ribs. So it's a pretty complex structure, but fortunately, it's made up of muscle and tendon, and most of these injuries are successfully repaired, and the players are able to come back, or the athletes are able to come back uh, almost 100% or 100%. For an athlete like this who functions with both finesse and power, the pectoralis is a critical structure, but... I think the odds of him coming back and being back to his old self, aside from the other injuries, are very high. Yeah, those other injuries are what I really want to ask you about because this is the third time in four years J.J. Watt will finish the season on injured reserve. He's had a back, a knee strain, a leg injury, elbow dislocation, abdomen muscle tear, hand injury. He's pretty much had it all. Is it fair to say at this point he's injury prone and all of this stuff is really adding up on his Hall of Fame career? Well, you know, he is, he is injury prone because he plays just so darn hard. You know, I would be more concerned if it was a recurrent injury, you know, in the same body part. For instance, if it was a back problem, knowing that he's already had uh, back surgery for disc disease, then I'd be more concerned. But the fact that we're rotating body parts in different areas of the body, I think prognostically is a good thing. And also the fact that this is a, an abnormality that can potentially heal completely will not affect his psyche as much as, say, someone like Andrew Luck, whose injuries accumulated and persisted. So I think in this case, the likelihood of somebody with his personality coming back in full force is very high. So there you go. That's some pretty good news on J.J. Watt. We can maybe call him injury prone, but the fact that they're you know, not all in the same spot, maybe we can see that uh, full J.J. Watt in 2020. Special thanks to Dr. Pomerantz of MRI Online.